Hello and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts. And looks like I'm going to have to mute the game audio for the first few minutes of the video again. Because I don't want to get copyright claimed. And three, two, one, we're back with the game audio. Last part we defeated Maleficent. And she disappeared through a vortex. That's what I'm calling it. In this part we're going to see what happened where she went to. Look how many save points there are in Hall of Ashton. Now I'm gonna finally equip... Oh, I guess I already equipped the Olympia off-screen. Oh. Now I finally equipped the... I don't know if I've showed this last part or not, but I finally equipped the Leaf Bracer ability. So, I finally had that. I probably should put the Leaf Bracer on Donald, but... I like way too many. Eh, I guess for this one fight, I'll put on the Leaf Bracer for Donald. Well, just for this one fight. As you can imagine, we are coming up against uh, one of the hardest bosses in this game, but it's not really too bad. Uh, I'm just double checking everything to see if I have everything I want. I actually want, maybe want to equip something else. Also, I earned this off screen. I've got the things needed to forge this, but I'll show them, like, later. Uh, I guess I'll just equip... Do I have anything that's stronger? Probably not, because I still don't have the ability to, for to set good accessories quite yet. The only thing... Mm, I guess we're going in what we're, what we have, huh? Uh, I still haven't gotten the Defender Shield from the Defenders yet. Uh, I actually don't know if there's any other uh, staffs I can get for Donald, but I guess we're just. Sheesh, Maleficent, you're suffering help. for a heart attack. Riku. I guess she is an old hag. Is that? Yes, a keyblade. But unlike yours, this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! Uh. Alright, right away we're gonna summon Tinkerbell. The other good thing about Tinkerbell that I don't think I've mentioned yet is that Tinkerbell doesn't have a time limit, so she stays out as long as you don't dismiss her, which is going to be good. And we're also going to be casting Arrow on ourselves quite frequently. Certainly. Also, Tinkerbell brings our allies back to life because if you're not convinced Tinkerbell isn't the other best summon in this game, then you're sadly mistaken. Okay, Dragon Maleficent is quite hard. She has the biggest, the largest health we've seen in the game thus far. And, her att and the battle arena is not very breathable. And her attacks are a little hard to dodge. Wait, can I deflect this fire? I guess not. I'm trying my best. Yes, I better focus on this battle. I also didn't... Oh, dang it, I forgot to do the thing. I thought... Uh, I got pink in Discord. Uh, I should... Uh, I may actually game over in this boss, because... Look at... Her attacks are really wide, and they cover a lot of... And they... 
so cover a lot of area. And this arena is not also is also not very big compared to her. And her weak point is the head she occasionally yanks back to uh you know to avoid getting hit. And knocking her fire back gives you a lot of tech, but that could be because of all my tech boosts. So I should have bought some elixirs. There's also Tinkerbell will revive you, like she did just there. But she only revives you once, as you can imagine. I'm probably gonna die. I'm just gonna die. And... And to do this, I'm gonna take out... The Mega Efers I've been stockpiling this entire game. And I'm also going to be giving Goofy all my Mega Potions, although I'm probably going to have to put on the, right, the White Fang accessory again. And her the Brave Warrior, whatever it was called. I still haven't gotten a better offensive-oriented accessory. I probably should... Maybe the Inferno Band is better. Uh, maybe I should put on something that increases my defense instead. To give me better survival. Maybe I should... Instead of something that, that uh, gives me better... Their defense. Maybe I should... Oh, this lowers my AP count. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, uh, what do I want to unequip? I don't want to. I guess I can unequip Treasure Magnet for right now. I'll probably put it back on. All right, I'm gonna put on the Ifrit belt, and I'm also going to save in case I have to do this again. Alright, it's round two. This video actually may be longer than I anticipated. I thought I was this part was just going to be two bosses and I'd be done, but no. It might appear this part is going to be longer. Thank goodness for Final Mix adding cut skippable cutscenes. Thank the gods. Oh, I still can't skip. I hate how they added cutscenes, skippable cutscenes in Final Mix, but they... Actually, I don't remember if you could skip, skip summon animations in Kingdom Hearts 1 Vanilla. I guess we'll never know. Because I don't exactly have many memories from Kingdom Hearts 1 Vanilla. Well, as you can see, that's Goofy using one of his potions. Potions, because when he uses it on... When he uses a Mega Potion, he's not just using it on himself or Donald or me, he's using it on everyone. Although Goofy just died. I'm actually going to bring him back to life with a Gear Spell, just so he can spam his potions more. Also, Donald will... Also, same goes for the Mega Eaters, so this is a good demonstration for the Mega Eaters, I guess. Although, I don't think if Donald has used one yet, because Donald... Donald hasn't used one yet. Yeah. <laughs> I could really use the Mega for from Donald, but it looks like Donald's having better ideas. As, as you can see, my better prep, my better preparation skills has made this battle a little easier, although it's still kind of difficult. As you can see, even with good practice, battle can be good, difficult. I wish I really wish Donald would just use a use an eat one of his mega efers. Come on, heal! Use a mega efer. Or so I can cast arrow. I mean I know I have Tinkerbell, but come on. You're making my prep skills look bad, Donald. Uh, if I had made a guess, Goofy's probably ran through all of his potions. So as you can see, this boss with the right prep is easy. It also helps him not taking much damage from her fire attacks. 
attacks because of my accessories, but this boss can easily... Easily be way harder, and Goofy probably guzzled down all the mega potions I just gave him. GG. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. And we obtained the Fire Glow. Uh, we're gonna see what that does later. For right now, I'm going to show you a cheese tactic. And beating Dragon Maleficent up with that. Voila. So I'm gonna drop down and set a save and actually go to my other profile real quick, just to showed the cheese method even better. There, so let's go to my other profile. Oh, and load up the game. Because I did make sure to drop down an alternate save for specifically for this Let's Play. I didn't do too much alternate save file prep for this Let's Play because I... I, uh... Just really didn't think it was necessary, but I did drop one just specifically for Dragon Maleficent just to show how badly you could cheese this fight. I, now, what you're gonna do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up our file. Come on, skip. Skip all this, I don't need to see this, come on, bruh. Ugh. Excuse me. I mean, we're gonna load up the castle chapel file, and my MP is going to look a little different because, like I said, this is my staff file that I practiced on. I didn't even... Uh, do I have the Atlas armlet? I don't. I straight up don't. Uh, well, we're going to take off the right... Actually, that's not the thing I want to de-equip on Donald. Hold on a minute. Yeah, we're going to de-equip the, the royal crown on Donald and briefly give it to Sora. I really don't have the Atlas armlet. The Atlas Arma is an accessory in this game, and while you're, the next thing you're gonna do is load up on Elixir. So, oh, we're gonna load up on Elixirs. Elixirs, and the next thing we're gonna do is map stop and gravity to a shortcut. It does not matter what you map them to. Look at that. Our MP bumped up. Uh, it also helps them holding the Lady Luck Keyblade. And also, Don Goofy's HP is a lot lower. I chose the uh, late uh, Dawn route for this file. Uh, and needless to say, the higher your level, the more this cheese tactic will work. So, the first thing we're gonna do is skip the scene. You also might want to summon Tinkerbell just in case you die, which is something I might actually do. So I might, I'm going to summon Tinkerbell. Oh, Tinkerbell, so let's summon Tinkerbell because I really don't want to die. And the thing you want to do is wait until her head is exposed like that. 
and you want to cast gravity on her as much as possible while she stopped. Now she doesn't stay paused for long, so you want to cast as many gravities as possible. As you can see, we've already gobbled down our first elixir. Uh, that was actually pretty bad, but it looks like my gravities can still reach her. We're gonna gu guzzle down another elixir. Sir, stop her again. Gravity and spam gravity some more. Oh, apparently not. Uh, you also might want to heal yourself because Tinkerbell isn't always reliable. So cast gravity some more. Uh, and guzzle down yet another elixir. Sir, get hit apparently. So you can do this, and obviously the more MP you have, the easier this will be to pull off because Maleficent will stay paused longer due to your bigger MP. P and the higher your level, the easier this will be in general. Well, as you can see, I'm level. I was, as you saw, I was level 40-ish, and I'm still pulling off this method rather easily. Okay, so that's probably the last elixir I'm probably going to guzzle down, and I'm probably just going to do the rest of the hits, basically. Okay, or not. Maleficent can just do that crap. And as you can see, she's taking less damage because she's no longer in... I probably should cast magic on her instead of doing what I'm doing. Shows you what I've learned. And there you go. That's how you beat Maleficent. Easy, easily. Granted, I didn't struggle too much with the other method, but as you can see, that fight went way faster and way more pain-free. So let's just skip the scene and go back to the Let's Play file. Oh, I just wanted to show that off because I felt like this Let's Play was not complete without it. I'm kind of weird like that. Uh, actually, I gotta close out that thing back in my file and... And come on, load up. Up, oh, please. I'm begging you, begging. If you will not do it for me, do it for Galopolis. Well, so oh yeah, like I said earlier in this part, we're gonna be facing two bosses, two for the price of one. Oh yeah. Isn't that the deal? Let's just completely ignore the fact that I showed you two bosses in the, uh... Wait, did I forget to save? Nope, I didn't. Yeah, I showed you two bosses at once. That's in the part where I got wide. But to be honest, Hercules wasn't much of a boss. And I'm just curious, how many... Po Donald didn't waste a single Mega Efer, so I'm going to move all these in the stock. Although I'm probably going to have to move them back to when I lose this boss. And I'm actually going to finally up... I'm finally upgrading... the potions. So, feast your eyes on the high potions, and actually, mm, uh, 
actually, does that look half and half? Uh, that's technically not half and half because there's far more slots, but I guess I can improvise, so... Yeah, we're actually going to use elixirs in this... I'm actually equipping elixirs for this fight, I'm not boarding them. Now my ha my inventory is half high potions, half... Uh, is there anything I want to equip specifically for this fight? Uh, is there anything that increases my defense by any amount more than what I already have? And I guess I can equip this, and I can also equip... Uh, this... To boost my defense. Anyways, after prepping, you want to move on. girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You... you're not Riku? The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kairi's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go! Give him back his heart! But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What? Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kairi's heart rests within you. Kairi... Kairi's inside me? That's what she said. I know all that there is to know. Tell me, who are you? Come in. It is I, Ansem, the Seeker of Darkness. So, I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. Look at that freaking grin, bro. Sora! Forget it. There's no way you're taking Harry's heart. All right, it's boss time, and we don't have our lackeys. Keys. Ansem here, or Riku, Possess Riku, Ansem Riku, whatever you want to call him. Um, he can be hard depending on what path he's taking. If you take it stab, this guy can delete your health instantly. Looks like... <laughs> Looks like I'm not struggling too bad, but this guy... I is the nightmare of children everywhere. Or, people have horror stories about this dude. I know I used to, and I'm probably going to tell you after this fight, I the next gameplay section is over. Or, but looks like all I'm doing is break dead break dead mashing square or not square X. X I uh, I prepped for this fight. I, my only, I only used the potion, but that's because I'm paranoid. Wait, what was this boss like again? I seen, <laughs> I made that look easy, but trust me. We'll get to what Riding the Rock does later. Riku! Sorry, sorry, what? Oh, the 
that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. Sora? Sora! Hold on! at last, princess. The keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Impossible. No. You won't use me for this. Riku! You've got to run! The Harless are coming! Kairi, hurry. I can't, I can't leave them behind. We can't stay here. 
A heartless is after us. A heartless is after us. I'll take care of him. Protect you. Sora! Kyrie, thank you. Sora! Sora! I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go! The Heartless are coming. All right. Let's get out of here. Tell me what happened. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. The only way to stop them is... Seal the keyhole, right? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. That's right. You have one more friend to worry about. Riku's Keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that Keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, you can. Uh, that one part where that one song put where Sora's sacrifice played, I am definitely gonna get got copyrighted. Oh, uh, that's the one disadvantage of what's playing a Kingdom Hearts game is that you're gonna get copyrighted. Oh, uh, I get. So if you don't believe me, then the, the other Let's Players will tell you so. Anyways, I think you need to talk to. Do we need to get help? But Leon's right, the Heartless are now stronger than ever. Or as you can see, we fuck we had defenders here in Traverse Town. And I probably should have put on the accessories that look but look how much defense I have. It's actually kind of incredible. Those guys were like probably free-shotting me before, now they're just barely doing anything. That's because of my shield pathway, baby, and my accessories. Accessories for the win, boy. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to become mortal again. again. So as you can see, Defenders has shown up here, and also Dark Balls. The same has also gone for the other worlds. The other worlds have new Heartless for them. New Heartless too. Yeah, but the last, the rest of this part will probably, probably be me showing off all the special Heartless you can find. And look how many of them are spawning. It's kind of crazy. I almost want to summon Tanker Bell, but. Maybe I should give my accessories to Goofy to make him immortal. Never thought of that. Yeah. Even these defender hits are starting to add up. I probably should have summoned Tinkerbell, but eh, too late for that now. Uh, 
it's all good. But these defenders, I feel like I've been fighting them for ages. I guess that's sort of why I've had a more offensive-oriented playstyle with shield, just so that these guys die faster. Now you know how long these fights normally take with shield pathway, well, somewhat. But anyways, I'm gonna equip my accessories back, so... Oh, uh, I'm gonna give Goofy the Dark Ring and the Fundaga Ring. I'm, uh, I don't know if I want him to have the, uh, sheesh, Goofy's defense looks garbage compared to mine, but I've also fed all of my stat boosters to Sora. Kind of expected. And yes, I'm still using potions like a pleb. Eb. Eb. We want to get go to Fairy Godmother and give her the Fire Globe because that is, excuse me, that is actually the last summoning gem. What ability did I want to? Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't unequip anything. Well, except my treasure man. That's uh, I guess I'll worry about it later. They're like I usually do. Because if there's one thing I'm good at, good at, it's that I send my worries to future me. Because I like being a, I like aggravating people so much that I like aggravating my future self. I'm setting a very bad template for someone. This is the f final summon spell, Mushu. And wait, Fairy Godmother also gave us a Stafford Arnold, Lady Fortune. And we're going to equip this to him. It's a staff that raises his strength by a lot. As you can see, four. Or and it also doesn't lower his current MP count. So we're our Lord Fortune. I thought it said Lady Fortune. I really can't read. Listen, school was a long time ago. Okay, you eventually forget the new things if you're out of school long enough. I mean, I've been out of school for four years at the time of this recording. Right now we're going to do the story section with uh, Kyrie real quick and then we'll show off all the special Heartless and the best ways to deal with them. So, looks like the Sniper Wild spawned here. Uh, I guess I could sort of show the best way to deal with the Sniper Wild. You want to equip the cheer ability both on Donald and Goofy. And you also want your best MP boosters, so Lady Luck. Uh, I'm gonna take off the. Actually, I don't want to take, but I do want to take off the Royal Crown. I guess I'll put some, slap something on him for now in case I forget to equip something on him. Um, we're gonna equip the Magic Armlet and the. Uh, Royal Crown, if I could find it. it. And I'm also going to use a Cottage for the best MP usage. I probably shouldn't have wasted that, but whatever. And I'm going to put my summon right on Mushu. And we're going to walk on to the... We're going to get near the, sun, the Sniper Wild, and we're going to summon Mushu.
And basically, we want the sniper wild to get on our level, assuming it hasn't seen us already. And we want to snipe it with, uh, this shoe, assuming I haven't screwed up already. Looks like I did screw up. Oh no. Oh, I screwed up, didn't I? Nope. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Wait, Mushu takes away your attack, man. I actually never knew that. I've never really used Mushu too much, other than the Sniper Wild Farm. I don't know. Uh, I'm actually going to dismiss him and wait for the battle icon to go away. And now I'm going to summon Mushu again. And I am sweating bullets, but I also don't want to take off my coat. Gotcha. 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 Oh, another method you can use for the Sniper Wilds is the stop method, where you basically go up to them and stop them and then hit them a bunch, but... As you can see, this method is a lot safer. Well, it probably would be safer if I had better at the... Please don't screw this up. And as you can see, these fangs will always drop a Fury Stone, assuming you can get through them correctly. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, go for the trouble of farming them right now. I'll farm them off screen when... Maybe. Maybe I'll farm them off screen, or maybe I'll just look like a liar. Another thing you can wait for is to get another ability that's basically an improvement of an Arc Light ability and then hit the Sniper Wilds like that. That's also another thing you can do for the Sniper Wilds. And I've also, I also know that I showed the, jet, the Giga Shadows, but I'm going to show them again in this video in case you didn't watch that part. This is basically going to be a only one special heartless deal, so if you know want to know where any of the special heartless are, you can watch this video though. But as you can see, I cut it very close with that as heartless. Where is that other one? Where did it go? Oh, and yeah, the heartless are a lot stronger now. We're no longer just easily blazing through bush league enemies. We're dealing with the real. We're dealing with the real, uh, guys now. Uh, it's now, oh, he despawned, because I, like I said, I want to fight as many of these guys as I possibly can. Man. Uh, a thing you can do is stop these fools. I never opened that chest. What was in it? I am actually dying to know. Well, I'm not dying. Well, I guess I technically am on my way to die, but that's beside the point. Like, uh, Kyrie's supposed to be here. Uh, why isn't she here? I think I need to go talk to Sid first. Actually, I need to go talk to Sid. I gotta talk to the old man. And it may take me a long time before I find that shield for Goofy. It honestly might take me way longer. I regret making this a complete trophy guy, but at this point I've gone too far in. I've shown you every step you need to get the platinum so far, so it's not like I can just uh, so it's not like I can just take it back. Well, technically I could take it back. I could just be like, Hey, I'm no longer doing a complete trophy guy let's play because it is way too freaking hard.
Also, it's time for a confession. You know how I said I've been playing this game for two decades, or almost two decades at this point? And you know how I said I've played this game ever since its original release? Well, about that. I never got past that fight you just saw me breeze through. Like, I never got past Ansem, Ansem Riku, whatever you want to call him when I was a kid. He was just too hard. And I also never went to Olympus, so I never got stronger through Olympus by getting some of the stuff you can get for there or getting experience. And I also never got stronger Keyblades. The best Keyblade I had was Lady Luck. Yeah, how's that for a confession? So, everything you've been, you're seeing on here out is my experience through the 1.5 plus 2.5 collection because here's another confession. I've never owned a PS3 either. I've owned, I was a wee kid. I never got to experience the original 1.5 and 2.5 standalone releases. It's because I never owned a PS3. When I was growing up, I was a... I was the wee kid. It felt like I was the only person... I felt like the only person that owned a Wii, and I'm not going to fight the Sniper Wild because I don't want to deal with it right now, man. <coughs> <coughs> but, like, I never went to Olympus, I never beat Anthem Riku, and I never finished this game until this collection, which wasn't until, and I think this collection wasn't until 2017. But you want to go to this sun thing and activate a thing, and now it turns into a moon mural. And now we got the Navi Gummy. Or not. Mm, I guess. Also, you want to talk to Kyrie, or I guess the game forces too. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kyrie. Now, it's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his... When I turned into a heartless... You saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was, the darkness almost swallowed me. But then, I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I <sighs> That's it! Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. Well, let's go! You can't go. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. You can't go alone. Kairi, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore, right? I can't help? You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> okay. You win. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry. I will. Promise? Promise. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. Overly attached girlfriend. Also, we got the Oath Keeper. The Oath Keeper of... Oh. I guess it's more cutscenes.
Man, this cutscene is long. Anyways, the Oathkeeper Keyblade is weird. I've never really used this. It raises max MP one by one, and it's capable of dealing a critical a string of critical hits. I've never really used this Keyblade or found a use for it, but maybe if you equip enough critical pluses, maybe it could be of stronger than Olympia. But I just rather have a consistent damage deal out rather than. Have a gimmick keyblade. Awesome. Uh, man, that cutscene was long. I also kind of forgot how long some of the cutscenes were in this game. Mainly because in my practice file, I just skipped all of them. But it's time to hunt for special heartless, starting with Wonderland. And I guess I should have kept that build on Sora because, as you can imagine, uh, uh, actually, we don't want to warp here. We want to warp to the Queen's Castle. I keep forgetting that. I guess it's just muscle memory. But uh. Maybe I should just save it for the next part. Actually, you know what? I'll save the special Heartless Hunting for the next part. I know this wasn't a super long video compared to the rest of the series, but... Uh, I'll see you next video for the special Heartless Hunting video. Really, I'm just ending the video here just so I have an excuse to do part of Hollow Bastion in the next part. Because this part is already kind of long, and then I want it to overstay its welcome. So, see you next part.